What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel and some more Lunar Scenario Reviews here. Today we're looking at uh, what is the third scenario in sequence here, and it's called Defend the Settlement. So unlike a lot of the other ones, there's no uh, resource or mining nodes to really uh, focus on in this one. So the back uh, story for it is an early warning has come through on the address system. An enemy crew is in transit to your settlement and is reported to be heavily armed. Mission Control has ordered you to defend the base at all costs. So this is actually even a shorter one than most of the scenarios, too. It's a five-turn one, um, two-by-two, two, and again, it's more designed as a two-player two game as opposed to a multiplayer. So you place a lunar settlement in the center of the board and some small scattered terrain around it. The settlement area is considered to be a circle with a radius of five inches. Fill the rest of the board um, as any lunar surface you like, so it gives you kind of a guide there. Deployment-wise, players will roll off to decide uh, the defending or attacking player with the winner choosing. The defending player will deploy within six inches of the center of the settlement. The attacking player can choose any uh, two board corners to deploy from and split their force as evenly as possible between them. So again, depending on how that shakes out, you know, you'd be deploying somewhere around here and they could pick any combination of those two um, uh, other corners or any combination of the four corners, but sorry, picking two specifically. No environmental hazards in this, which is, uh, I think, uh, probably the good choice here, would just make, uh, make it a little bit too complicated and doesn't really fit what's going on for the scenario, but would be fun to try as an alternative, too. Wind conditions, then. The defense of your settlement is paramount to your crew's control over the area and local mining claims. So at the end of the game, the faction with the most units within a 5-inch uh, radius circle of the center of the board has one. Now again, a uh, key thing to keep in mind there, the terrain piece from Black Sight uh, that really would fit for this, uh, that sort of large circular hab unit, is pretty massive by itself. So I think that might actually be too big um, for uh, the way this would, uh, the way this is spelled out here with the distances, so you might have to tweak that slightly if you're wanting to use that terrain piece, because I think that's easily, um, well, it's certainly wider than five inches, but um, just something to keep in mind there too, if you're kind of using their official terrain, or if you want to use something smaller uh, to represent the, uh, the habitation. Now, special rules here, lunar settlement. The settlement buildings are considered impassable terrain and cannot be entered. Everyone is outside ready, ready to fight. Now, there are some optional, I think, things that they've come out with, too, where you can sort of set up like an internal um, game. So if someone's maybe breached a uh, HAB unit or colony of some sort, and you could actually do the fighting inside. But um, for this, basically, the buildings uh, you can't enter. That would just make it way more complicated than it needs to be. And then finally, so who wins at the end then? The winning player gains D3 credits for each uh, unit in the settlement area at the end of the game. The losing player gains just D3 credits total. So it's all about, again, getting um, the most units within a 5-inch radius circle of the center um, of the board, uh, and then they, they will have one. So... You will have a hard time whittling the enemy down either way, but then you know, if you're the defender, you certainly want to keep them out at the end of the game. So there's, again, that's where some of the fun things of the game come in. So if you have some units that maybe have blunt weapons and you're able to push the enemy away late game, again, it's a five-turn game only, so it's going to go pretty quick compared to some of the others. But here having you know access to like the shotgun and stuff like that would be awesome. Um, saving up maybe a little bit more towards the end for some of your shots and uh, just, you know, at key times, push the enemy away so that they don't have enough time to get back. Um, so a lot, of, a lot of neat ideas there. So definitely trying to keep the opponent off off your territory, basically. Um, and obviously, if anything that you can kill on the way in uh, will, will help you there. Now, the attackers, uh, you do get that flexibility of choosing any of the two corners. So perhaps taking a little bit of advantage of how the defender has deployed, trying to get close without maybe taking some incoming damage. So I think this one would be a good one to have maybe someone with that uh, the rifle as a um, way to hopefully just get some nice shots through, maybe drop a, an astronaut or two, and then, um, again, having a shotgun to even push the defenders off of the, the, the base would be cool late game. And, uh, but other than that, getting in there, getting stuck in a combat, I think will help you. You know, you want to be close. And if you can start taking them down uh, that way, you, you have some, some options there. Uh, another thing uh, could be interesting, both sides. If you can get the defenders away, 
uh, from the settlement and kind of pin them in place by either dropping them or something like that. But I think here, like the net and the glue gun would be, I think, good gear choices as well, just to, again, delay and hopefully drop them and make them fall. And just, I think time is the key factor. You, um, defenders definitely want to survive that initial rush, drag the game out, and then hopefully either kill a few uh, of the invaders and or push them away and then drop them. So uh, the attackers are definitely going to have to be super aggressive and just, I think, go for kills. And, you know, I don't really see much reason for the defender to to leave their area, but, you know, just it all depends on what's going on. But a fun one that for, for the first time here, we've seen something, you know, that, again, doesn't focus on the mining aspect of the game. So let us know your thoughts on Defend the Settlement and how that's played out for your guys' games and kind of your gear choices and faction choices and how that's worked as attacker and defender. Um, be sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and we'll have more Lunar for you soon.